If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and we're going to be opening up a box of Dragon Masquerade DBT 10. Real quick, before we get into it, I'm going to thank our sponsor for today, which is 50 Cards. 50 Cards, as you may already know, does nation splits for all the upcoming Vanguard booster sets. So if you want to be able to upgrade your deck the best way possible is to pick up nation splits from 50 cards. This way you can avoid drastic spikes in the market, kind of like what we're seeing with uh, Grand Diva, with Dragon Empire. But if you're able to pick up your splits from 50 cards ahead of time, you would have been able to get everything you needed, play sets of everything from the upcoming set ready at your doorstep. Be sure to check out 50 cards, check out their singles, check out their accessories, and be sure to use code NEXUS as well to get 5% off when you get to check out everything that you possibly need for updating your deck is right there. Also, please be sure to like this video. We're trying to get up to 200 likes for this unboxing. If we can get up to 200 likes, I'm gonna be giving away one whole box of DBT10 to one lucky winner. So there's gonna be an extra box, one for the unboxing today. One's gonna go away to someone after this video gets up to 200. So let's make it happen. Details about the giveaway is gonna be in the description below. So be sure to check that out as well. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and open up this box. All right, got our box, and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into cracking this open. Sheer force and willpower. Got it open on the side. All right, got all the wrapping out of the way. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Comes with a little promo too, look at that. What is this? Slow Kiss Nana. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, you can Soul Charge too. Um, oh, actually, it looks like there's two cards in here, so hang on. Second one is, oh, cool. It's, it's just like a like a full art version of uh, Geo Brachio. It's not foiled, but you know, hey, for all those people that wanted to play Eugene, we got that, uh, that Geo Brachio for you. And then we got little promotional stuffs, Groovy, what is this, Love Live, Bang Dream, yeah, just all the typical Bushy Road stuff. Nothing for Vanguard Zero. It's official, guys. The marketing is dead. Should be 16 packs. So we should see one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, eight. Yep. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, mix these up a bit because it's fun to do that. Just get right into popping and cracking these open. Give that a little zoom. Stoicaea stuff. Uh, some Brant Gate stuff. This is for the new support for Grand Diva. P people are running this typically as a one of I've been seeing, but you can also run this as a play set if you really want the counter charge. States. Dragon Tree Markers. There we go. Cool. It's good to know. And Sylvan Honored Beast. Oh, and then uh so another dragon. So these are rares. These aren't really going to be doing much. These have to do with dragon tree markers. Actually, they do the exact same thing. They just soul blast one, counter blast one, draw a card for dragon tree markers. And on the next pack. Uh, this card lets you move another card that's called from the deck to the soul to get some power. It's common. This is the new grade two for the Solarion ride line. Sylvan Beasts. Ooh, double R. My understanding is that this card lets you pick an imprisoned unit from your prison. Your opponent puts it at the bottom of their deck and then they pick a grade zero card from their drop then put it in the prison and this gets 5K. I'm, I'm not really sure if that's good or not. It seems not helpful to kind of do a switch just for 5K power, but it's double R. Maybe I'm missing something here. And then, ooh, that's a good card. Uh, when this card is discarded from your hand, during your turn, you can uh, Soul Blast one and put this into the bottom of your deck and you can draw a card. And then when this is placed, if you if you Persona Ride this turn, you can kind of blast one, retire one of your opponent's rear guards in the same column as this unit. So retiring something, drawing a card for when this card is discarded. This is just a really good card in general. So this is really good for the Grand Diva deck. So I've seen people running about two of these, I believe. I don't think this is a little like a heavy card to be running because it doesn't extend the attacks, but it's still a really card, good card to run. All right, next pack. All 
And we got some uh, solid Bastion support, Stoic Chaos support, Grant Gate support, more Link Joker looking things, Dragon Tree Marker support, uh, Greedon card. Woohoo! This is like really good generic Brand Gate card right here. So this card is, when this card is discarded from your hand during your right phase, you can Soul Blast one and put this card to the bottom of the deck and draw a card. So that's also really good. So you can play up to two set orders until the end of your next turn. And you can play the, the next set order you're about to play, you can play without having to pay the cost. So if there is a cost associated with playing said set order, you know, you don't have to worry about it. The fact that it lets you search set orders is really, really good. The fact that you can discard it and you just put it back into your deck and still get, you know, resource out of it is really nice as well. So this is going to be sticking around for a while. This is just a really, really, really good card. All right, next up. We got some more commons, Bastion common, Branke common, Solarion starter, rare, rare, and rare. I've been seeing this card a lot. <laughs> I haven't been noticing. Kind of going through this pretty quick. Rare and a double R. It's pretty simple. It's just Soul Blast 1. If you're in Abyssal, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, um, you can call a Shadow, Shadow Army token to the same column as this. So kind of helping you get more attacks and kind of helping you generate tokens really easily just for the Soul Blast. So, you know, pretty decent card. All right, moving on. I'm going through this pretty quick. Um, oh, I was like, that's a robot, but no, that's uh, that's just some Stoicaea dragon nonsense. <laughs> Keeping it going. That's Hex Orb support, and that's hideous. <laughs> So it's a 15k booster uh, or beat stick, but if you did not three, if you not soul blast three or more cards at a time for any cost, uh, it can't attack or boost. So it's uh, pretty weird. Uh, I could see this maybe being like a tech in Dredjeweled, but overall, nah, it's a, it's a budget card for sure. Right, Dragon Tree Marker stuff. rare and this is hex orb support when it attacks or when it, yeah when the scene attacks if you have a vanguard with sorceress in its name you look at the top card of your deck and if your vanguard is standing you can look put that card on, into your soul kind of like a revel revelation kind of thing that way if it's not a trigger you just soul charge it and then you know keep going from there during the attack so this is swinging with this first before your vanguard attacks with hex orb and then when you reveal a trigger during your drive checks this gets an extra 5k so that this is actually a really really good card for hex orb as well moving on i right, got some helicopters solarion Beasts, uh, something that gets 5k, uh, generic support, rare, and a decent card for Grand Diva. So this will also helps you fill up your bind zone. So it's kind of basically you kind of blast retire something. If you didn't retire something, you can draw a card and then you can bind a card face down, which is nice. So it just kind of helps you accelerate Grand Diva's um, bound card effect. Still moving. And double R. That's the new uh, prayer dragon for um, Mirrors of Irina. But when this is, I believe it's when this becomes an original dress, you can soul blast one. You look at the top seven cards of your deck. You're looking for up to two different cards or two Virenas. You put one in your hand, you put the other one in your drop zone for Mirrors skill and uh, you shuffle the rest of your cards in your deck. So this is definitely gonna be a play set for sure for, for the new Virena Mirrors deck. Okay, pulling these out. Ooh, double R. So what's this one do? So Twin Marble Dragon is basically when you soul blast three or more cards at a time, 
you can look at the top card of your deck. You can either put it back on the top of your deck or you can soul charge it. And if you do put it into your soul, you can give this an extra 2K, which is pretty nice. So this does definitely look like it's kind of meant for Dread Jewel just to kind of help you, you know, see your triggers and also, you know, refill your soul after you pay the cost. So this is a really good card. And Flame Rare. So this card is just a really, really big booster. Uh, it's uh, Soul Blast 1, or when it boosts, it gets an extra 5 for, you know, basically if the total sum of the grades in your set order zone is 3, um, it gets 5k. If it's 5, it gets another 5. If it's 7, it gets another 5. So if you have like 7 cards in your order zone, it just increasingly ramp ramps up. Or not cards, the total grades that's in your, <laughs> in your set order. So if you got a total grades of 7 or more, it's just basically going to get plus 15k, which is really, really high number. I don't know how consistently you can get there, but um, that's actually just a really nasty card for the future, depending on what type of set orders we end up getting. All right. So I've noticed we've gotten two of our triple R's out of the way. So we should have, I think, at least one more. Oh, there we go, Solarion. <laughs> so this is the new ride line for Keter Sanctuary. Um, even though we already have our Sorcerer aesthetic, we just wish it decided to give us another one. So Solarion is basically you declare if the top card of your deck is a trigger or non-trigger uh, at the beginning of your battle phase. And if it is a, if it is the right type, um, you can give all your units an extra 5k until the end of the turn and that's continuous. And then the second skill is when this attacks, you can count on boss one, look at the top two cards, and then you can call one and you put the other card back in the top or the bottom of your deck. You know, if you're looking at the top two and you already kind of like shuffled through your top deck by doing some like Keter Sanctuary magic, you kind of know one's a normal unit, one's probably a trigger, you put it back on the top, or if it's not, you put it on the bottom and hope you get a trigger in the next check when this attacks. So it helps you multi-attack, which is really cool. So Slayeron's gonna be a fun deck to test out. And then we got our second frame rare. This is Greed On Support. So when this is shoved into the soul by your Greed On's ability, it gets an extra 15K, it gets drive minus one, which, you know, I don't know how impactful that's really gonna be to the Greed On deck, but the extra 15K just to make it one big poke is, you know, really important. So just the fact that one card can make Greed On even bigger, you know, is pretty significant. So that's a, is an okay flame rare. As a flame rare, not that excited, but it, you know, the card skill is pretty good. Can't complain there. Next up. We got a fourth triple R and we got a jeweled mask. So this is a strict upgrade from the um, other dread jeweled units. Uh, this card can only be written on top of a grade three with jeweled in its name. You can remove a card with Judge jeweled different from this card's name from your soul. And then you choose two cards from your drop zone and you move them into the soul and this unit gets a crit. And then when this unit attacks a Vanguard, it's similar to the other dread jeweled effects. You counter blast one, you soul blast four cards of different grades. This one allows you to retire two of your opponent's rear guards, which is really nice. And then you set your opponent's vanguard's power to one. So strict upgrade, it works really well with the new mask order. This is just a really fun deck to play around with. If you're planning on building this deck, um, get your mask orders, get your dread jewels. There's a ton, tons of other support that can help you uh, get the mask out of your deck faster. So it's just a really fun, aggressive deck to play with. Pretty sure we got all the good stuff already. So we're just gonna kinda blow through the rest of these packs. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting, oops, there's an extra card in there, a mask in this box, but that'd be pretty cool if I did. Oops. All right, double R, well, what does this do? This works directly with the Zorga mask. So basically, if you don't have this card on the board already, when your Zorga attacks, you can counterblast one, 
retire one of your other rear guards and call this to uh, a rear guard circle with the dragon tree marker and dragon tree markers give units 5k anyway. So even though it's a 5k base, um, it's a 10k. So if you persona road, it's a 20k swing. So it's just an extra attack that might hit. So it's not a bad card. Uh, I don't think you're probably gonna run more than maybe one, maybe two, but it's not bad. Not a bad card at all. After this, we have one last pack. Whoa, what is that? Not me realizing that Lyrical Melody is, is getting glitter support. I, I guess this is this is intentional. <laughs> That's cool. Um, got an EX rare. Don't know how much this goes for, and I don't know how important this is to the deck, but it looks like this works specifically with the Michu deck. So this is actually kind of similar to Maple in that it can call itself back from the drop zone. But what's really interesting about this card is that it, after it swings or after it, you know, your Vanguard attacks, and this is in the back row center, you can switch the positions of your Vanguard in this, and then this swings, and then it goes back. At the end, this I've never seen a mechanic do that before. That's actually really interesting. And then we got two more rares, just like simple rares. And last pack. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. All right, we're just gonna go real quickly, go over our pulls. Flamers, we got some set order support and some greed on support, some uh, fun little guys, little grade ones. Double R's, we got some questionable prison support, some Zorga mass support, uh, generic dart state support, but it looks like it works really well with Jejeweled, uh, crossover dress support, Hex Orb support and Orphist support. So all these cards are pretty, pretty top notch, not bad. We got some random lyrical card, which I didn't know was gonna be in this box, but hey, we got one. We'll figure out what to do with this in the near future, but this is pretty cool. And then Triple R's, we pulled the Dread Jeweled Mask, Solarion, that really good grade two for grabbing set orders and a really good grade two for uh, Grand Diva. So even though I didn't pull Grand Diva, this is not a terrible pull. Uh, I would say the most important cards from this were these two. Uh, definitely these if you're trying to build build these decks, but in terms of like how cards are looking like on the market right now, it looks like these two are like some really important cards going right now. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And as a quick reminder, we are still gonna be doing that giveaway for the box. So be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If we can get this video up to 200 likes. We're gonna be doing a giveaway to one random lucky winner to get one box of Dragon Masquerade. Be sure to like the video, check the description for the link and stay tuned for updates in the future when the, uh, when the link is available for the giveaway. And thank you again to 50 Cards for always supporting us and for helping us supply product for these giveaways. So please be sure to check out 50cards.shop for their playset bundles and their supplies and their singles. They do a really, really, really amazing job. They have great customer service. I cannot recommend them enough. So if you're looking to play Vanguard and you want a really good, consistent way to keep to update your decks, go straight to 50 cards. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.